Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So today we're gonna check out every single microchip in the game. All right, I've got a whole entire list here showing every single chip. Now, if you saw the video I made a couple days ago, um, I actually received some chips on my Battle Rec account, which is owned by Pixonic, that were not supposed to actually be, you know, played at the moment. Either they're not going to make them at all, or they're still under construction and they were not ready. So if you saw that video, I had to take it down. But this is the entire list of the chips that are currently in the game that are supposed to be here that you guys can get in the store right now. Now it is possible that some chips may come out later, but currently these are the ones available. Okay. So there's the A and the B chips. Again, you guys can just pause this. All right. You've probably got a nice look at the A and the B chips already. You guys can pause this. I will put all of these down in, in the text of this video's description. So there will be a whole text list of all these chips as well. All right. So let's look at the C and the D chips now. All right. These are the C and the D chips. There's actually a lot of different stuff going on. Again, if you need a little more time, you can just go ahead and pause these and check out every one of these and what they do. All right, very interesting to see how this works. The, the main problem I have is like most people are gonna get some of the basic drones and you can only fit a couple chips on each one. So it's kind of, it's kind of a pain trying to figure out which chips are going to work for you so I try to stick with I try to find drones with two to three a slots and just use the a slots that's my own personal preference on this all right and then finally we have the e chips which are the I don't know why they called them the e chips because these are the ones that go in the AC slot that cause your drones with weapons to actually fire and you can see there's only four of those there's only four of those so you have to have the higher end drones as of right now, I think there's only two two drones in the entire game that even shoot at anything, and you've got four weapon choices when you do get one of those. But you have to get the you have to get not only the drone, I think you have to get the slot as well, or the AC chip as well in order for that to work. So, all right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I've been doing with my drones. So per personally. I have been focusing focusing on the A chips. I try and get a couple freezers, a couple suppressors, a couple lockdowners. Those are probably the easiest to get and the most helpful for your average person. Now you do got to remember these have a very small accumulation effect. So you do want to have probably at least two or three of these on a drone. All right. Tier 1 or Tier 2, two chips are pretty easy to get. Tier 3 and Tier 4 right now you can't really get those without combining chips. The problem with combining is when you do combine a chip, unfortunately, it's going to give you a random chip. You can you could combine 15 of the exact same chip and it's going to give you a random one. So you could combine 15 of the lockdowners, but that doesn't mean you're going to get a another lockdowner. You're going to get something random. So that kind of sucks. But what I try to do is find drones that have between 2 and 3 circle slots and fill up the circle slots. For example, this ha this has two circle slots. So I might want to go back in here and I've been buying all these chips here. This is my account. I've been buying these with my own resources. So I've got three freezer chips. I've got nine lockdowner chips. So lockdowners are pretty cool. So let's go ahead and install two lockdowners onto this drone. All right, now depending on which weapons I have, I might lock down some people really fast or I might lock down some people really slowly. All right, this drone has two circle chips. Let's go ahead and do a freezer. We'll put two freezers onto this drone. Now, the other one I really like are the suppressors, but I haven't seen a whole lot of those. I think I've only got one suppressing chip. So far, I've only been able to get one out of the store. So this drone actually has no circle slots, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to bother to mess with this one. Um, this drone has one circle slot. I'm not going to bother, bother to mess with this one. Unfortunately, when you buy these drones, you never know what slots you're going to get. Okay. This guy has three. He's got two freezers. This guy has three freezers. All right. Nope. Nothing good there. I want to have at least two to three circle slots, which means you're going to have to keep buying drone after drone after drone until you get the slots you want. 
even on the higher end drones, when you get the when you get these things, the slots are all very very random. All right, so right now I got every drone that I own that has two to three circle slots filled up with either lockdown, suppression, or uh, freeze. For example, this one has two lockdowns. This one has two freeze freeze things and this one has three freeze things all right so that's what I'm currently doing with my drones all right so right now I've actually got four drones here actually the discus right here has a suppressor and two lockdowns now I really would love to have more suppressor chips but like I was saying those seems to be seem to be the harder ones to get out of the easier ones to get if you know what I'm saying Every day you can go to the store and you can buy a couple chips. You know, it really eats down the resources. Eventually, Pixonic's going to be giving out chips like crazy. But anyways, let's go. A let's do a couple battles and we're going to talk about different weapons. Okay, different weapons affect these chips differently. Now, personally, I find that weapons with a really high rate of fire seem to be the best. They seem to work well with shotguns too, surprisingly, but... I've noticed the, the best weapon for these lockdown suppressor and freezer chips seem to be the shredders so far. Alright, battle begins. Time for a swig of my morning coffee. Alright, we're going to start off with the blitz. And we're going to give him the one suppressor and the two freezers. So now my shredders are going to have lockdown, freeze, and suppression. So this should run really, really interesting. But this is what I like to do with my chips. All right. You can get pretty crazy with these things, but it's probably going to cost you a lot of money. So we just froze somebody right there. Did you see how quickly I just froze some guy? All right, I'm going to tell you, these lockdowns, freeze, and suppressors are crazy with these particular weapons. All right, let's go in. That guy's a little too far away. I want to find somebody I can shoot. There we go. Let's hit that guy. All right. He went into his last stand or whatever you want to call it. All right. Frozen. Look at that. Look how fast we froze that guy. Now, you're not going to see that on other weapons. Oh, I blew up. Man, someone hit me really, really hard. All right. Let's go ahead and start over here. We'll get the, uh, let's get the scorpion and we're going to give the scorpion three freeze chips. So let's see how these chips work with shotguns. All right, this is going to be really interesting. So as, so as soon as somebody gets within range, there's somebody right there. We're going to spawn in. We're going to teleport in. And for some reason, I couldn't get it to work. I'm pretty sure I was in, in range for that guy, but I don't know. It just wouldn't work. There's somebody. Nope. 360. 360. I got to get within 350. Why is everybody so far away? Come on, just let me test out my theory here. All right, hold on, guys. Someone's got to be in range. Gosh. There we go. Something's wrong with my... Uh... Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. No wonder I couldn't get it to work. For some reason, my controls got all kinds of messed up and crazy. All right. Here we go. Here comes somebody. All right, let's test it out on these shotguns. Look at that. We, we froze that guy, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we instantly froze that dude. So I've heard these work great with shotguns, which I've never actually tried them before. So remember, these, these shotguns have been nerfed by a lot. And a lot of people think these shotguns aren't very good. But I think they're still awesome. Okay, where's somebody within 350 meters? There we go. All right, three, two. Dang it, he got too far away. He's dead anyways, all right? 450 why is everyone so far away they're all on the other side of the map I'm gonna have to run in and get kind of closer there's someone let's check out what happens here look at that we've already froze that guy so yeah these do work well with shotguns after you freeze somebody with your shotguns remember your shotguns are gonna do a lot more damage so freeze chips on shotguns are probably gonna be good at least I think they're gonna do more damage it doesn't actually say whether the freeze effect on the drones work the same way as the freeze effect on the cryos, but I'm going to assume that they do. I'm going to have to ask that question to the developers and see if I can get an answer on that. 
Because that one I'm a little bit unsure of. All right, here we go. Let's see what it does here. All right, frozen. Did you see that? We froze them real quick. So I guess there's two possibilities. Number one, the freeze effect does nothing but slow the enemy down. Or number two, you know, you do more damage just like the cryos do once you've frozen an enemy. I'm not really sure which one it is, honestly. But this guy here, he's trying to get me. Watch this. Watch this. All right. So these shotguns actually work great. So shotguns are very, very good, and so are the shredders as far as making these lockdown effects and suppressor and, and freeze effects work. All right, there's somebody right there. We're going to go get this guy in a second. Who's within range? He's too far away now. I don't want to go in there. There's somebody. Nope, too far away. Man. This is a bad day to run a scorpion. Usually there's always a million people within range, but everybody's like, oh crap, there's a scorpion. Everybody run. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'll get shot by a thing there. All right, I'm going to run back here. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. So let's go ahead and try one of these with... All right, we're going to do two freezers with the Scourges and the Spark here. Let's see how these weapons work with this, all right? We're shooting that guy. All right, that froze him pretty quickly, didn't it? That actually froze him pretty quickly, but I died just as fast. I think it's time to bring in the Titan, guys. We gotta bring in this Titan and do as much damage as we can. I'm pretty sure this is a losing battle, all right? There's no way we're gonna win this battle here. So I'm just gonna do what I can all right, I don't think I'm even going to be able to get this beacon back. All these titans are spawning in. Things are getting crazy over here, guys. All right, we lost this one. All right, win-lose, I show you the good battles. I show you the bad battles. It's all good. So let's go play an another round like this. All right, here we go again. Let's go ahead and start off with our phantom. We're going to give him the, the freeze and the suppression on this one. So we're going to test it out with a couple different weapons. Now one thing I was a little surprised about is when I was using the new energy weapons, it didn't really seem to lock down, freeze, or suppress people that fast. But for your average player who's free to play or cheap to play, I really think that these are the way to go. All right, they're easy to get. The tier two ones, they're easy to get. They're un un inexpensive. They're pretty effective. I mean, they work well overall. I mean, they're, they're really pretty decent, right? All right, we've almost frozen that guy. Right now, we're switching targets. I'm going to go ahead and leave, but we almost froze him, okay? So even if all it does is slow the enemy down, I mean, that's still at least a big help. That way, people can't escape when you're about to kill them. So we got to get these beacons. I don't know what my team's doing. They think this is just like a team death match over here. Nobody's after these beacons. So I'm going to come down this way. Let's get our lock on. Let's freeze this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Freeze, freeze, freeze. All right. He's frozen and he's dead. Unfortunately, I got a scorpion over here trying to kill me. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ability. I think I'm going to go ahead and back off and get up out of here. Crap. All right. That didn't work out. I teleported right to the spot where they can just smash me up. And I don't like that. I don't like that. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get our ability going ah oh, they blew me up okay let's try let's try the redeemers guys let's try redeemers with three free th three freeze thingies let's see how this works not bad we froze him pretty quickly so yeah I find that these are pretty pretty handy these come in very handy all right I don't plan on doing anything to my drones except for playing with these freezers and lockdowners and stuff just because they're really convenient, they're easy to get, they don't really cost me too much. It doesn't cost a whole lot of power cells to deploy these things. It's a pretty decent deal. Even if all you have is two, that would probably be good. The other thing I kind of like are the chips that give you defense points. I might actually look at adding maybe two, like, you know, Two circle chips, which are the A-type, you know, weapon effect chips like I'm using here. And maybe look for a couple of those chips that I can add that give the, uh, 
give a couple defense points. Now that would be sweet. If you could have around 25 defense points plus, plus two of these lockdown chips, I think that would probably go over really, really well. Maybe we'll play one more battle after this, and that's what we'll do is we'll try and find a couple of those chips with the uh, defense points, which I think are the slot D chips, if I believe correct, if I remember correctly. All right, we've got we got to get a couple beacons back here. All right, we're gonna go for this. Oh, we got a crappy Arthur band. Look, we're starting to suppress and lock down, right? I don't think that's right. Someone else must be getting the lockdown on him because I don't think my weapon's locked down at all. That must be a teammate locking him down. All right, he's got anti-stealth. Ah, oh, crap sandwiches. All right, let's go ahead and bring in this nemesis. We're gonna give him the double lockdown. We're gonna give him the double lockdowns. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this Titan. Oh yeah, you got my purple shield, buddy. We did a little damage there. Nemesis is a robot that I never really play. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a feel for him with this particular weapon setup. I'll probably do a video about you know Nemesis with these weapons here shortly. So far it seems pretty decent. All right, I don't like I've never really liked Nemesis, but with these weapons, I'm definitely liking him a lot more than I have ever liked. Him. All right, let's go ahead and try and get this Arthur. I'm gonna go ahead and they shift it because I don't want to die yet. All right, let's go ahead and use our shield. We'll shoot him up. We'll hit him with our rockets. All right, we're doing some damage here. We might not be we not, might not be doing too much terrible, too terribly much. What's going on here? There we go. My stupid robot is he won't move. I mean, this is ridiculous. What's wrong with my robot? My robot is stuck. Someone said, someone gave me a new nickname the other day, and yeah. What was it? Lightning, Danny stuck on everything lightning or something like that. You got it. You got that nickname just right. I, I think that was very good, so that's what you guys are going to have to start calling me from now on. Danny stuck on everything lightning, right? That fits, that fits. Cause I really do seem to get stuck on everything. Even if there's nothing there, I tend to get stuck on it. All right, where's somebody we can go after here? But yeah, I mean, I actually like these. I actually like these chips on these drones. They're actually pretty good. So you guys get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for the rest of the battle. All right, so I went ahead and installed two of these, two of these on a drone. This will give me 20%, 20, 20 defense points. So that's like 19 damage resistance or something similar to that. If I go under 50% health, but the thing is it says it only lasts for five seconds. See, most of these chips I don't really like or I don't really care for, but we're gonna go ahead and try this out all right, so now we got uh, we got two freeze chips and we got two of these things to get some extra defense points on this drone right here. Um, I still have room for one more chip. You know what? I can go ahead and see if I can install something else. I got four more energy, right? I got four more. Actually, I could go ahead and do the three. I can do the, you know, let's just go ahead and add another freeze chip. So we got three freeze chips and two of these on this particular drone. All right, this is the best drone you can get that's not, that's like easy to get, but it still costs you gold. So let's go play a battle like this. We'll go play one more battle. All right. Ah, morning coffee, guys. Morning coffee. It's kind of a pain trying to drink your coffee around your microphone. I hung a little green cloth over my microphone to try and make so it's not up at the top and blocking part of the screen. So, see, I got my little green screen cloth there hanging to kind of help get rid of all that excess stuff that blocks out part of the screen. All right, let's start off with the scorpion. We're going to try and do the discus. Let's try these defense points. This should be pretty interesting to see how this actually works. 
So once we get below 50% health, this thing is going to come on. I don't know if there's going to be some kind of indicator that it came on or what. But we're going to come in here if we get in range. And we're going to try and get these guys. There we go. We are in range with... Let's go with the guy in the back. All right, he's frozen. He's frozen, all right? That's good for us. Let's go ahead and leave. There's a bunch of them shooting at me. Oh, there's a hawk. We got to watch out for that. All right, my teammates are over here shooting at this stuff. Where's the hawk? There's the hawk. So, in a few seconds, I'm going to try and take out this hawk. It looks like he does have a last stand, but we're going after him anyways. We're going after him anyways. All right, someone activated his last stand. We're just going to start firing at him, and we're going to take him down. All right, cool. Cool, cool. We got him. I did lose a little health because I shot the guy right when he went into his ability. And most of you all realize that shooting that guy when he's in his ability is not good for your health. All right, that's... We're, we're going to run away. We got an Audi. Unfortunately, the good news is he's stuck down there. He is stuck down there, so... We're going to go take him out. We're going to go take him out. All right, let's get this guy. Unfortunately, uh, uh, quite a few of my shots missed him, so I, I didn't kill him. I would have killed him already, but some of my shots missed the guy. There we go. We finally got him. And I'm out of ability, so I can't teleport back. I got to be really careful. Oh, craps. All right, right now, I should have my defense points going. And I don't know, there's nothing that really indicates that it's working, but I, I'm not really sure if it worked or not. Anyways, let's do the three freeze things on this guy. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. And he should be landing any second. We want to take out this hawk. Stupid targeting system. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and go for this Ares. We want to destroy him as quick. Oh, I lost my lock on. Crap. All right, I'm going to go ahead and teleport out of here. All right, I'm going to back off before I die. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Let's get this little dude. I'm going to use a healing module. And uh, try not to die, all right? Try not to die, dudes. All right, there we go. There we go. Ability. Time to charge in here. Let's finish him off. We're going back after that Ares. All right, there's the Hawk. Let's get the Hawk. All right, now we're going for the Ares. All right, come on, lock on. Ah, I lost the lock on again. I suck at this. It's been a long time since I played this little dude, but he's an awesome little guy. I will tell you that. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, let's go ahead and bring in this nemesis. We'll give him the drone with the two lockdown things. All right, battle ended. So anyways, you guys get the idea. Personally, though, I would just stick with the suppressors. The freezers and the lockdowners because they seem to be the easiest the most beneficial for someone who doesn't have a lot of money to spend or whatever on the game so that's my advice okay so that's a look at all the chips and that's kind of my advice I'll take a better look at all the chips here and really get an idea for exactly what they do and I'll try and make a vid better video for you free to play or cheap to play guys on exactly what's going to give you guys the most for, you know, the least, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I think that wraps this one up, and I will catch you guys later. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.